Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tea leaf card reading and a tarot reading. Uh, it is going to be a little bit of a shorter reading, um, but uh, the normal readings that I do. Um, and it is a general reading, so please keep in mind that it's not going to resonate with everyone. If uh, it doesn't resonate, please just click off the video and uh, please refrain from any negative comments if you can, okay? Um, also, please go check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs to make sure you're uh, getting all of the messages that correlate with your natal chart, okay? Let's jump right in and see what Spirit has for you. Also, there is no date on this reading. Um, I feel that if you find this reading, no matter when you do, uh, there is something in here for you, okay? All right. We have four messages out on the table. Sorry, I do have to get this notification off of my screen. I apologize for that. Okay, the first message is good advice from a wise person. Interesting. So you could be getting some good advice from a wise person. Um, and that could be anybody in your life. Anybody. Okay, so that is a very, very good card to get. I do, f I love owls. Um, that is my uh, spirit animal. So I love owls. Um, and owls are very wise. So this could be an advice reading for you if you're watching this. Okay, I could be that person giving you some good advice. <laughs> All right, and we have a rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So Scorpio, if you've been through some ups and downs and maybe even more downs than you'd like, um, I feel that this um, rainbow card is talking about having a situation coming to an end. Um, difficult, the most difficult part of a situation. Okay, please put that how it resonates for you. We have a uh, bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Ooh, maybe you're going to be getting some flowers. Um, I know it's not even close to being Valentine's Day, but... Um, you know, flowers can be sent every day of the year, right? So you might be getting something from an admirer, maybe even just a small compliment um, on your looks or on your personality or whatever it is. Um, it could be actual flowers, okay? And then we have hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Interesting. So you're also getting good advice from a wise person, but you're also in need of guidance at this time, okay? I'm hoping that there's something in this reading for you. Um, I'm, I'm getting, I'm feeling that those messages might be, um, those specific messages are being um, brought out, maybe because there is something in this reading that you need to hear, okay? Um, so let's jump into the tarot see what the tarot has to say and see what messages you need to hear today. All right, let's go ahead and cut the deck and jump right in. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? We have the Six of Swords and the Hierophant to begin. So I feel that uh, you are um, with this, uh, the most difficult part of the situation is over. I do feel that you have maneuvered through the difficult parts of that scenario, okay? And you are coming into smoother waters, okay? Whatever that is for you, um, it's actually allowing you to, with the Hierophant card here, learn the things that you needed to learn from that, okay? I do take the Hierophant card as a learning card for me as a reader. Um, but not only that, I do feel that this could have led you on to a new journey, possibly even a spiritual journey, okay? Um, maybe even open up your heart, uh, your eyes, your mind to the things that possibly you were uh, blocked off from before, okay? So that's beautiful. Let's see what else. We have the Four of Swords. Okay, talks about rest and rejuvenation, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so um, I feel here that there has been a situation that, yes, was, di was very difficult, but now that you're coming through it, uh, the most difficult part is actually over. I feel that you're able to take a break, 
you're able to breathe, you're able to rest, you're able to kind of have that time to yourself um, where you're not so overwhelmed with whatever was boggling your mind or weighing you down. Okay, so that's a that's a good thing. Now we have the seven of cups here. I do feel that there might be a little bit, bit of confusion. Um, I do feel maybe that your heart space is still a little bit um, a little blocked because this is a cups card and the cups do the seven of cups specifically talks about confusion and sometimes not sure which way to go so if you are feeling and you are a water sign Scorpio so this is telling me that you might have a lot of um, mixed emotions a lot of pent-up maybe emotional baggage okay that is maybe causing a little bit of confusion okay let's clarify let's see let's start with uh, the six of swords here and see why this is here spirit why is the six of swords here the knight of pentacles the five of swords Okay, so I feel here that um, you maneuvering away from the most difficult part of a situation that you've gone through um, took a long time, okay, and lots of difficult communication. I feel that it just, it, it drug on for a long time. It could be months, years, you know, put it how it resonates for you, but I feel that the communication was very difficult and you just could not uh, handle the mental pressure of the situation at all. And I think you moving out of that, um, and it could be that you moved out of it intentionally and, um, you know, actually made that choice to do that. Um, it took a long time. Okay. It took a long time and uh, communication might even still be difficult with whatever this was, if it was a person or a group of people or work situation, whatever it was for you. Um, I feel that um, there could still be a little bit of, of uh, difficult communication with this individual or this group of people. Or if that's not the case and you're no longer speaking to these people or this person, there still could uh, be a little bit of uh, mental uh, challenge here, um, you know, due to trying to, to maneuver past the, the thoughts about what happened, um, trying to, you know, internalize and, and think about, you know, how it played out, right? Sometimes that can really boggle our minds if we, we play it over and over in our heads. I think that might be what you're doing, especially because this was a long, drawn-out situation for you, okay? Let's see what this Hierophant card is. a lot. Okay, I'm going to take them. I got the Hanged Man, the Page of Wands, Five of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the World. Okay, that is a lot of cards, but let's, let's look at them. Give me a moment. Okay, so... Scorpio, I feel that with the hangman here, um, you've gained some perspective on how to move into a new direction after uh, a difficult situation. Um, the Page of Wands is talking about you wanting to actually move towards a passionate new beginning. This is a page, so it uh, hasn't taken uh, root yet in your life, but it's something that you are wanting to move towards. Um, now with the Five of Cups here, it's saying that you could definitely still be not um, completely healed in your emotional state, in your heart space, um, and you could be missing out on some opportunities. So all you have to do is really, you know, lift up your head and look around and see what opportunities are in front of you because there are other opportunities. Don't focus just on what happened in the past, right? Uh, don't just think about what happened to you and replay it and replay it again and again because there's no reason for that, right? It's 
if, you, if it's over, it's over, right? I feel that um, your wish fulfillment is to be successful. Your wish fulfillment is for um, you to work through those hardships, work through the blockages, and get over what has happened, right? I want you to realize that um, when you when you sit and, and think over and over again about things that have already happened or could be happening in the future, what's the, what's the point, right? You can't fix something that isn't broken or you can't repair things that, it, that has already been broken, right? So why not just start fresh, right? Why not just um, start a new beginning as to how you want to see something uh, flourish for you rather than contemplating what was, okay? I feel that you do have a wish fulfillment of getting over whatever this is and moving towards your success, maybe even focusing on a spiritual journey, maybe even a new career, whatever it is for you. It can be different for everybody here, but um, I think whatever happened to you in the past, whether it was uh, a relationship, um, even loss of a loved one, um, it could be anything. It could be a loss of a job. Uh, it could be anything. Um, I think you need to um, really evaluate with the, with the hangman here, really get a new perspective on how you want to move past that, okay, instead of staying stuck. Because the Four of Swords is really saying that you have... Um, you have been doing the work to uh, take the time to um, rest, take the time to rejuvenate. Let's get a little bit of clarification on the Four of Swords here. Okay, so yeah, the Tower and the Lovers. So after, you know, this huge abrupt change that happened in your life, uh, you had to make some decisions or you are having to make decisions still on how you're going to maneuver after this abrupt change that happened to you, okay? There was something that occurred or might be still in the works, okay? Please keep that in mind. This may not have happened yet. This could possibly be on its way in. But nonetheless, there's going to be a decision that allows you to... Um, maneuver towards getting past difficult times, getting past um, the, the change that occurred, because sometimes change is hard, right? Change is not easy, but change is always good. Uh, in my opinion, I think change brings in opportunity. And this could be the opportunity here. You could be confused. Maybe you have a plethora of opportunities that have um, arised for you, and and maybe you're just unsure how to uh, how to maneuver, right? So let's look at that Seven of Cups and see what, why it's here. Yeah, King of Cups. This is uh, your energy here, Scorpio. This you could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. But I feel uh, really heavily that this is your energy. I feel that you are coming into your heart space. I think I said that earlier. I feel that you are um, really embracing your heart space, okay? Even though there might be a lot going on in your heart space, maybe you're a little bit confused as to how to maneuver, I feel that you're learning how to do that. And I think that's with the Hierophant card here. I think that's the learning process here with the Hierophant, okay? beautiful. We have the, the sun and the two of swords. So the sun is really here to say that you have the ability to be happy, to grow, um, and to be confident. And this is the most beautiful card in the deck. Okay. So it's really shining the light on this two of swords, which is you blocking yourself because we have the five of cups here. Okay. The five of cups talks about not seeing all of the opportunity in front of you, not um, really being open to it and then you're blocked here so you're blocked not only um internally and you know you're kind of looking looking down but you're also you need to take the blindfold off here okay so you can see right in front of you what every what what opportunities are are, uh, are right in front of you but i feel that because the sun card is here i feel that um, you are going to come through some of the blockages, some of the confusion, and um, I really feel that you're going to embrace the situation, the changes that have happened with the situation, and make the decision to move into a new light, 
okay? The Sun card, again, it talks about a new life, clarity, happiness, growth, all the beautiful things, okay? So although this has been a very difficult track for you, um, journey, I should say, um, this journey has been um, pretty difficult. And again, it's going to be different for everybody. Everyone's journey is different. But, and it did take a while for you to kind of uh, come to the, the, the most difficult piece of it or um, finish the, the most difficult piece of it, I should say. So um, as you're continuing to heal, as you're continuing to grow, I feel with the sun card is, uh, the sun card here, it is going to illuminate some of the things for you to be able to allow you to lift your head to take the blindfold off to see what's right in front of you, okay? And I think that your um, mental stability will also um, change and allow you to have new ideas, new perspectives on uh, what could be illuminated here. Because look, we have the sun in the background illuminating um, this person's mind, right? giving this person a new perspective on ideas and look at the beautiful bright sun and this person rejoicing at the clarity of of what they've come to know okay so there's going to be some great clarity coming to you Scorpio um, new perspectives and change on its way okay I'm going to leave it here thank you for being here um, I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed yet okay um, until next time guys Namaste.